I did not know what Chamonix was when I arrived here. It's taken so many lives. It puts you in your place. Trevor and Eric really were the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance kid. Trevor was kind of the workhorse, go-getter. When things got tougher, he, uh, he performed better, right? The bigger the storm, the harder the wind, the happier he was, right? Guns, helicopters, and first descents. I think he broke his neck. I think he died of internal injuries. He left me with two beautiful children, so many wonderful experiences. He's always with his eyes. He's really psyched. Was it a place that I had to stand and help kind of make this happen? Yeah, absolutely. I felt responsible for that. This is my grandson. I have lost my son. I don't want to lose my grandson. Well, I'm a different man than my dad. I, 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 it's hard to follow in his footsteps when he's not around, you know. To me, it was something I couldn't actually give Kai at that time, and I couldn't be there, but yet Kai kind of needed it. Sort of a rite of passage, almost. I've always wanted to ski this run that my dad died on. He's heard about Glacier Rhone for nine years. Just being here and skiing that run, I think, will probably close the circle for, for Kai. His exposure to this type of skiing is probably typical stuff that you see in a ski film. <laughs> we needed to clear up the air and make sure that he had the ability to make some very precise turns in very controlled situations. Ah, I can't learn this turn, I'm really sorry. It was crazy, it was like I was skiing in like a movie from back in the day, I guess. There was Plague. Fan, fan, crazy Mike hat trip. Is Den 6 too high, you think, for this today? <laughs> it was nuts. Lock and load, send the kid in. <laughs> Am I ready? As he said, I want to see what my dad last saw. Now that takes a man to do that. I think it does. You got razors, I got razors, I'm gonna use them. Could be sharp up there.